Uh oh, it says TV video explicit. Oh, sorry. We are back once again, part two of the More Garbage podcast. We are taking out the garbage as we talk the trash. We got my man Fubs Rocks in Queens. We got Vandal in Brooklyn. Our special guest today is Hector Mama Wanda. Yeah, we're on part two. Part two of Do. Part two, your boy Jojo here with you, hanging out. Yeah, let's let's give him uh, a few, let's give him a couple of minutes to get in that room. Yeah, y'all, y'all get up there. We had here. join us. We, somebody bring my hater. Yeah, someone back. bring the hater. He had a hater in there that sounded like she was like Samuel Jackson in Pulp Fiction. She sounded like, but I think like I she think, was trying I think to. She was a she. Yeah, I think it was a she. I think she was trying to. I think she batted for her spit own from team. the pulpit. It will strike down with furious anger. <laughs> <laughs> you talking to? All I've been doing is just sending like laugh, laugh emojis on this shit. Oh gosh! Like, oh, he's doing this. Ha 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 ha! Uh oh! I hear volume. Got Someone's got their volume. Yo. No, no, no. That was me. I was just checking okay, the gotcha. checking the system, right, cool. make sure everything was working. We are working. We're on. Our man Raul Mero is with us in the room. We got up, Raul? back in. I already yeah. made her a woman. She's spitting venom, he said. That was that. Well, Morgan, Morgan. I'm assuming it was a woman because she had that cute puppy dog profile pic. Yeah. We're just out here judging. Yeah, we're just judging that together. a man wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm on my Peter Peter well, most shit. of my that haters feel, are actually guys. Real so man with that. balls wouldn't do anything like most that. Most of your haters like, are guys. Like my puppy, it's- Just like most um, gas stu- gas station bathroom homosexuals are Republicans. Yeah, and they get caught out there. Why? Why is it that they get caught out there the worst? Right, the guys that speak the most about like anti-gay stuff. Get caught out there doing gay because stuff. they don't they don't have a lot of experience in figuring it all out. Like so, they're like you know if I talk about it, people will leave me alone, and then they get caught out there with their dick in the wrong hand. See, uh <laughs> uh, is our volume still on? I see I'm frozen. <laughs> Sir, uh, track says no, no volume. Everybody music. Volume, volume, volume. Check, check, check. Get back. Check, check, check. One, two. Check, check, check. One, two. Check, check, check. One, two. I'm just saying so that. Far, so check. Yeah. As soon as you hear me, can I see it in the, in the chat room? Yeah, let us know if you can hear us. I just heard the kazoo. The kazoo is on. Somebody blew the kazoo. Hey, I heard. <laughs> and she says we could. They were listening. It was Big Brother blocking us. Molly's back. Taking all of our. Thank records. you, Morgan. She's back. Have you called Frankie <laughs> Bones yet? Yeah, let us know who can hear us. I just heard the kazoo. Okay, yeah, let me check that. 
No, that was not you echoing. That was me checking it. Look. Oh, we can roll out there? Here's a view from behind the scenes. I'm watching the broadcast and monitoring it oh. on Facebook. Uh, now you're seeing the behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, I'm almost falling. <laughs> Yeah, we're all we're all back and working. Uh, where were we? We were talking about racism is bullshit. Racist. Racism right. is bullshit, and bullshit people do racist shit. That's right. They're right. Listen, I saw this caught. one thing. Saw this one thing that said not all Trump supporters are racist, but all Trump supporters decided that racism isn't a deal breaker. Right. Right. Right, I've said that too. It's like you know what? If you're okay with if you're okay with supporting Trump, you're okay with all these kids that are still, still, and I gotta fucking remind people about this. There are still kids locked up away from their mothers because they tried to fucking flee a country and they thought they could come to a better place. And what did we show them? Bullshit. We showed them this they, is not a better American place. American concentration <laughs> camps. Yeah. They're, Own they, that. Come on, welcome Own to our country. That. Go into this concentration camp because that's what we believe in, right? Are you fucking kidding me? Right? There are still kids locked up for months now not knowing where their mother is, right? There's a mother who I don't understand how any woman could, could or a man, could live being locked up because they tried to bring their kid to safety and now they don't even know where the kid is, right? Can you that's, imagine what that feels easy. like? Hold up. Not knowing where your kid in that place, that's the nice part. The rapes, the, uh, you know, all the yeah. things that's going on, all of the diseases, the doctors not being let in. And we're right. dealing with COVID-19 right now and they are being sprayed down we disinfect if they're lucky that is burning day skins and we can't bring doctors in no they're right. sleeping on right. the floor in those like tinfoil blankets and shit practically like half outside right so it's terrible uh, uh and, being abused thousands abused okay a lot of them lost and and many given up for adoption by u.s foster for u.s foster parents and with no permission, Why? with Why? no permission, the the natural parents are like, no, we want our kids back. And now they're saying that they might have lost a second fifteen hundred children in the system yeah. with no records of how to reconnect them with their families. No, we putting three year old kids to defend themselves in court. Do you yep. understand I, I, what some I, I, of these lawyers bringing in crayons for their clients? Mm. That's and that that's supposed to be our country. That's supposed to be our country. Freedom, right? We were supposed Freedom to. Freedom We're supposed to be proud of, right? The country that they won't even let the fucking millionaire fucking players kneel. Are you fucking and fuck kneeling? Right? Listen. It's too late for fucking pictures and kneeling and all that bullshit. Right? We're People got to start nice doing these. something, right? People got to start Ooh. doing something on this level, right? I don't give a shit about these guys wearing a kente and a goddamn photo op. Oh, Jesus. You go into emergency session and you change the rules right then on the spot. They don't want to. You don't question why people are, are destroying stuff. Hey, you know what? Guess what? We changed the laws within 48 hours. Can you stop now? Not, not, do you, you got all the sneakers and TVs you want. Will you stop now? Boop. <laughs> right? And until then, right, just deciding to take away, listen, if you take away the fucking non-lethal toys, and that's this is a, this is another part of the debate that nobody's even thinking of, 
But if you take away the non-lethal toys from the angry fucking street gang, what do you think is going to happen after that? Murder. Right. On a on a higher scale, on a much higher scale. Right. To the point where and this is the other thing that people don't think about the Eric Garner killing and the George Floyd killing. Right. These are killings of of psychopaths. You know why? They did it with their bare hands. Right. The gun is an extension. You can do that from a distance to choke somebody to death with your bare hands hands or to use your body to kill another soul that's some psycho shit think about it it really is i would like to say i would like to say it's some psycho shit because a psycho shit would be a person-to-person basis let's not forget that most mentally ill people don't tend to hurt other people it's like a small percentage so when we start saying, like, he's mentally ill, this and that, he's psychopath, there's a lot of psychopaths, clinically certifiable psychopaths that never killed a person in their lives. They just don't have that empathy. They fit the definition of psychopath, like the clinical definition, not the one that the yeah. streets use. But yeah. here's the thing. If it's just a person-to-person thing, then theoretically the law would just handle that. It's a system, though. It's a system that allows that to happen. Right. What job in America can you kill somebody and get a vacation for? Get paid for it and get away with it in, in, you know, in even circumstances where you see it right before your eyes, in circumstances where the own coroner that works for you on your other cases says, yes. This man was killed by a homicide. Oh, nothing to see here. They all got to back each other. <coughs> that's a problem. Oh, it, a problem. it definitely is. And that's the reason why we in a situation where we are today. You know, people like to say, oh, there's rioting and looting. I like to say they're vigorously protesting. Vigorously. Because if you wanted the quiet, peaceful protesting, that was happening. That was there. It was done. It was was done. done. The peaceful part was done. done. The peaceful part was labeled a a traitorous act. The peaceful part was hated on. So if the peaceful part don't work, maybe if I burned out a precinct, I might listen. And guess what? In the last, what, two weeks, we've seen so many changes in the whole police department thing. Like... No, what what you're seeing is... Selma, Alabama, all over the world. All one has to do is, please, if, if, if you get a chance, go ahead and look at how the police met those people, church-going people that were walking across the bridge peacefully. Oh, bloody Sunday? Met with dogs, and they got their heads cracked, right? And this is the same thing that is happening right now all across the U.S. So apparently the people that were were protesting, they don't get it. They don't get it, right? Because they're like, oh, why are you guys protesting? Here's some more fucking beatdowns, right? How many more videos do you have to see? Uh, how, many, how many more people do you have to see, like, get run over by a horse, get beaten down with a bicycle, get punched in the face by guys that outweigh them by a hundred pounds. Right? Like, you know, you're going to get away with it. Yeah, but I mean, and this just in the last like, yo, if you look at the last week's worth of footage of of people, and we're not talking about the old man, right? And I, I really feel bad for this old man that has been pushed down to the ground, right? Okay, That's well, no. the that image sticks in my head so much. It bothers me so much, right? That's somebody's grandfather. That's somebody's grandfather, right? What would happen if somebody pushed your your grandfather to the ground? Even if they did it by accident. 
even if they did it by accident, yo, like, get out the way, old man. Right? Come on. Like, you can't talk somebody, to old man? Somebody from that entire group of people wouldn't have been like, yo, what the fuck, bro? That's that's the thing that I would have expected. Hey, right? Hey, here's one thing that I took away from that incident. It was one, one officer that wanted to help that dude right away. And another one stopped him. Right. And that's what the is, system right now. Yeah, yeah. And that's but, the issue. So you got I'm, that guy who wanted to be a good cop and was stopped from being a good cop by another cop. Yeah, but if he was that good of a cop, Hector, if he was that good of a cop, he should have said, get the fuck off me, man. It's an old man right here. I'm going to wait here until he gets some help. Y'all keep going. There's 57 of you guys. Fraternal Y'all can order. keep walking without me. I'm going to make sure he, he's okay because I'm an officer of public safety. Mm -hmm. It's my job until I can get another first responder here that can medically respond to his to his needs right now. Because one and of y'all was and the dude was handing back a helmet. He was trying to give him back one of their helmets. Right. Yeah. And that's what that's the love he gets. So these 57 people who uh they decided to resign from a force, but not the force. Should go. They're still cops. They're, They're still, still cops. cops. They're just not SWAT no more. Right. So, what did you really do? They didn't do nothing. I would have. I. You know no, what? And they the, got to say that they walked off. Mm -hmm. They weren't even. It's not like they were um, disciplined for acting out or something. Right. They're like, this. This is disrespectful. So to all of us in as whatever, racists. In, in, right. In whatever, in whatever town they're in, that police chief, the sergeant, and everybody that's the brass above them within that unit need to be fired as well. All of y'all. You know why? Because not one of you stepped up and recommended that those guys that all walk past harming someone gets fired. Right, the mayor as well. Right now, like if shit's got to roll downhill, then it's got to go all the way up to the top. Mm -hmm. If everybody's gonna twiddle their thumbs and act like nothing happened, you understand what I mean? You can't act like nothing happened. You can't do that, right? So that means everybody has no, got to go. Right now, they're talking about why you want to dismantle us. Why? Because nobody spoke up. So if none of y'all being good cops, then why we need y'all? Exactly. I mean, it wasn't in 2019. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, but most people that were shot, in, uh, most cops that were shot in 2019 were shot by themselves or another cop. <laughs> oh, oh well. right. And let's not even get into that, where if you're a black undercover cop and you get shot by a white cop, you still black. You ain't no cop no more. Go back yeah. in your history. It's there. Oh, yeah. You notice that the, 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 the few cops that got fired for any of their wrongdoing recently have all been <laughs> cops. Have all been black cops. Oh, yeah. The ones that got fired right away. Mm-hmm. Black cops. Black cops. There was that Asian one. Wait, there's no pattern there. There's no pattern there. No, 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 not, 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 not even remotely. Even no, when see. you get convicted guilty and then you get a, a suspended five-year sentence. Pubs, can I get the Nerf gun? Can you get the Nerf Ooh. gun for this one? Oh, yeah, Pubs. Did I shut you up, Pubs? <laughs> no, I got, I got hit by a cat. Just take a little disco, man. Nah, at the end of the day, you gotta let people talk. That's that's part of this. No, oh, thank did, you, man. I appreciate he did that. Charles Barkley. He did the Charles Barkley. I could see it in his eyes. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> as a, my cat, I just hit my cat in the face, swinging around to get this gun. It's awesome. Um, oh no! No, I mean it's a uh, it's part of this platform is also to, you know, you bring somebody on, you gotta let them ride. Can't oh, Charles yeah. Barkley out. 
What's that, Chuck? Huh? <laughs> the greatest He's of all time, up. Charles Barkley. Oh man. But you know, there's people there's people that uh that really need to get the picture. Right. And the main people that really need to get the picture are our politicians that gotta change this and the local politicians more than more than anybody else. On an even more local level, you gotta check your homies. You gotta check your friends. You gotta check the DJs in your scene, Bob. Oh yes. Family. Because yes. I can't I can't touch none of these politicians. I could say whatever I could put in my vote. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna do my civic duty. Well, but the things that I can't extra, control. It's the extra me? level now. It's like like I've seen I'm hearing it amongst everybody, it's like their parents' generation. Like you just have to like write that. You know, like they all came up at a different time. I've been like I have my I had a friend, frankly, like um grew up I did I know grew up in Iran originally. And like that generation fled fled revolution and they they are they're like they're getting checked right now, seeing the same thing happen. But like their old ways. It's like I've checked my family, like where it's like, oh, you guys aren't, you just came at a different time. You saw things differently. Your lens is off. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. yeah. some of it is, is timing of not seeing all the lens, like all the different angles and perspectives, culturally, time you grew up, what it was, as long as you're listening at that moment to understand the other moment. I mean, there's hate and hate's hate. You can't change hate straight up. But then there's like, what what we've all been going through is institutionalized. People don't even know that they see things in a in a skewed version that is not real. That there's another viewpoint, angle, perspective that is very deep. That is much more important to 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 process and understand the 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 errors of the former viewpoint. If that's a you know what I mean, and. That that takes time, I think. That takes that takes time and open mindedness, and you can't cut the old generation out. You gotta let them process everything that's happening. That's the that's the interesting thing is that once you get that older generation behind it, you know the the boomers that age group, yeah, fully understanding what's happening, you might you might see a momentary real like change because you have to assume that the some of the younger generation that's at the crux of this has has you know made their peace with it and the the straight up bigots are bigots and bigots are bigots let them darwin out you know yeah, but it used to be yeah but it used to be that uh there was a time or at least you felt at least that there was a time where those people would stand amongst you but they would be real 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 quiet about their stuff and keep it in their little remote pockets, and they didn't have a voice to bolster themselves the way that they do now with a racist president, right? Oh, I, I understand 100%. 100%. Who does but I'm the, just saying you can't change the bigot. Like, there's right. no amount of, like, fucking Morgan Friedman talk that, you know what, you're right. Like, All right. But yeah. Sorry, let, let, me, let me interrupt. Because I got a homie who's a former neo-Nazi. Okay. Um, he wrote a great book, uh, My Life After Hate. I uh, encourage everybody to, to read that one. Uh, chapter 6 is about the rave. When he finally got out of the, all that crap. And he started, you know, me partying with the homies. Um, so it is... It all depends if you want to. I'm saying nothing's impossible. That's a person. But I'm saying, like, we can have conversations with people that are, and check people all day. And you, you can even check somebody that straight got hate in their heart. But I think at that moment, right. you can't change that person. They have to come around to when they're ready. Okay. I can't change that person. But there's a reader out there that feels that I'm backing them up. I bet they I change if somebody they that sees that in the like, face. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not changing the person I'm yelling at, but I got somebody reading like, "Damn, yo, I still got my back." You feel me? I feel that. So, I'm not in the business of changing people. I'm in the business of self-defense. 
All of this anger and all this racist stuff, that hurts. That's why I fight back. Of you course. slap me, we're going to have problems. Right. So you, you, you hit me with some racial stuff, I'm going to come at you racial stuff. I don't have to. I don't even have to, like, get racist, but I'm going to get on no, your ass. I, I'm more me? or less talking of, like, checking people, you know, and, and where that goes to. You know, it's like we have to get the allies together before you fight a battle. You got to find out who your allies is first. That's what I'm saying. You got to find out who's willing to walk to the line and stay there. Because there's yeah, a lot of course. people that walk up to the line with you. And when the shit starts to happen, they on the other side. Right. Part of the point, part of, the point of what, where we got to this thing and how we got to even bringing you on here to begin with, right, is, is like, you know, we wonder in this music scene, uh, you know, you wonder if the, in this music scene, really, who's your allies, right? Some of you that are walking amongst us, showing us all your teeth and trying to give us pound and a fucking bear hug, or, you know, saying something else when you're amongst who you think it's cool to say that amongst, right? In, in the words of Maya Angelou, when someone shows you who you are or who they are, believe them. Right, right. So I'm right. not playing these games. If I hit you with the dog whistle, I'm going after you. Right. That's, but that's what we mean with, like, you know, and for people out there, if you don't get the message, if you're one of those people that really, you know, and you might really have, have that good heart. If you say all lives matter, we are not willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Do you understand that? All right. All there, are people. Ways, there are other ways to do that. But the minute you say it that way, you know exactly what you're yeah. saying. And, it, and, and you know what? It's weird that, that a group of people can steal the literal context of something that should be viewed as a good thing, the golden rule, treat everybody the way you would always want to be treated, which does mean that all lives would matter, right? But when you're saying it in this point in time, in this context, the line is drawn in the sand. You know what the fuck you're saying. Wait, what, wouldn't it be There's interesting if Black Lives Matter just decided... Okay, let's just start using that hashtag instead. All lives matter. If, if how they, quickly? I jacked it. Oh my god! How quickly? All the all lives matter people would be like, "Ah, oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 that's not what I meant." Hold up, hold up. I Shout out to all you K-pop fans. Oh yeah, as the K-pop army. Good point. As a mask, yep. and they used all of those hashtags. White lives matter, all lives matter, lives, white skin, yeah. all of that. And they just flooded it with K-pop. They just all started guys, using the hashtag. Uh, yo, I salute you. I salute you. Yeah. I'm old school. Sail Taji and the boys for anybody who's a real K-pop fan. Sail Taji and the boys. Oh, shit. I was bumping that Korean hip hop. They all sounded like B-Real from Cypress Hill back in 95. I was in the hood. <laughs> So My like soul B-Rail. brother from Soul <laughs> Korea gave me the CD, and I'm bumping this shit hard. I don't know what the hell they saying, but it just sounds yo. <laughs> oh, you know he's, what's actually funny? He's, uh, he's, he's eating his kimchi and rocking. Oh rocking yeah, K-pop, K-pop, hip-hop. <laughs> but here's the funny thing: some artists, some big name K-pop artists, and apparently the person who made the song. He had posted a clip of his song. I didn't know who he was, so I hit him up. Yo, bro, this tune's fire. What is it? So imagine like, imagine like you Michael Jackson. Yeah. You're big in the game. And somebody goes up to Michael Jackson listening to Thriller and says, yo, who made this? So I had one of his fans answer my question. But then I noticed it was like, yo, I asked the dude who made the song, what's the name of the song? Like, I feel like I kind of disrespected dude. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. somebody walked up to Snoop Dogg. Yo, what's this gin and juice song I heard? <laughs> Who made that? I'm like, 
damn, bro. I just started with this new thing. I'm already, like, messing up, bro. My bad to all y'all K-pop fans. I'm going to do better. Holla, watch me do a, like, a mashup. Drum and bass mashup with some K-pop. They got some fuego. You should. <laughs> you should. You need bachata K-pop. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I, I, I got a bachata song that I, I, I threw in. I got some merengue that I've been uh, I've been mashing up. Some little salsa, <laughs> little reggaeton. I got a mix called, called Novela de Juana, a.k.a. Mama Juana's soap opera. Uh, that is a mix. That is a mix of uh, reggaeton, musica urbana, and liquid drum and bass. Uh, if you're on my SoundCloud, SoundCloud says Hector Mama Juana, H E C T O R M A M A J U A N A. Um, check it out, Novella the Juana. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to start a movement. Like I started off in the whole rock and jungle scene, you know, repping that reggae music along with the jungle music. I'm trying to do the same thing with Spanish music and drum and bass and jungle. You know what I mean, I hear you, I hear you bringing the bringing the flavor and the culture to the culture. Bring a little adobo to uh, cross, drum and bass. Cross cr- cross culture. You know what I mean. That's the, in, in 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 any way. That's what it's all about, right? Like, look, people always ask me out here, "Are you gonna get your Austrian citizenship?" Nah, man. Why? I'm American, right? Of course, America. What, my, what my country is doing there, like, why would you want to be American? Don't you see what's happening? I'm like, yes, right? But I also see those people out in the street, and right, and those people that are out in the street that are protesting, that are that are trying to make their voice heard and everything. These are that is as American as it gets, America. right? You know, <laughs> it's not just America because you know what. Paris, the motherfuckers protest. Oh yeah, French don't play. Yo, uh, when French they get do mad, not play when it comes to protest. If yo, you want to see somebody doing a flying kick with a Molotov cocktail, you look at the French protest. Yo, that's one thing that I really don't understand though. When you look at news footage of, like, look at the news footage of American protests and how the cops are always moving forward, and then like. Look at the protests in the Ukraine where they were literally throwing Molotov cocktails. Oh, yeah. Hitting cops with fucking sticks well, and stuff America, like that. The cops started the riots in America. Yeah, but hold up. That's coming here. Down in New York City, a 20-year-old white girl threw a Molotov cocktail at a cop car full of cops. What? Yeah, that shit's happened over here too. That's crazy. We don't. Homegirl home girl got four attempted murder charges oh. on police officers. Hold on, let me make the let me oh, make yeah. the disclaimer before she people. Thought that she was a I'm not saying it's cool. I'm not saying it's cool. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm just saying that some of those tactics are over here. Let me throw in a Molotov cocktail is not a good thing. Do not make them. You could hurt yourself. You could hurt somebody else. Yes, Go out. Use your voice. Use your voice. Thank a you. A bottle full of alcohol in a rag is not your voice. That's your ass getting hit with four attempted murder charges, bro. <laughs> that's four that's of them jammies. Yeah, for cops, you're going away. For cops. So that means when you locked up, there's other cops inside too. Yep. Think yep. about it. We need You'll you on the right. street. If you out here on the street, we need you to be there. We don't need you getting locked up for 20, 30 years. We need you to be out there on the street. Exactly. Black Lives Matter, and we're going to keep on going from there. You know what I mean? I really like we think we got our American concentration, uh, concentration camps that we got to take care of, too. Yeah, for sure. That's, Sorry. that's one of those I'm things. Sure. Where, like, you know what? We really have to... I really think the idea of hijacking their phrase... Is a good one. It is, right? It's a really, really good one. Like, yeah, you know what? All lives do matter. Let's do it. Honestly. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what's the really funny thing? On some of these right wing sites, you see a lot, a lot of black history stuff that they try to include that they think speaks to their 
to their to their like you know their ideals right like you know they're like did you know that blah blah you're like mm, that's not quite right <laughs> you know so i mean Dude, like texas tried to take like, the word like, slavery out of the textbooks oh i know what? workers workers they Immigrants. brought in a bunch of workers yeah. The problem is these workers didn't have any yeah, rights. Like they were ben Carson. Like property. Yeah, those those slaves were thinking of a, a brave new life and a brave new world. And opportunities. Shit, uh-huh. New opportunities. They came over for the American dream. Like, yo, man. All your like, people defending racist stuff? I know. racist too. Don't don't front. Just because you racist light, you ain't saying the N-word out there. Yeah. But you say but. When there's a situation going on with some messed up stuff, you just as guilty. Oh, yes. Just because you ain't lacing up your boots with that Nazi crap doesn't mean you ain't backing them. And if you backing them, then you like them. And I don't need you in my life. Right. And then, 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 then there's the other people that are that are real cool that try to be real silent. And you're like, yo, you're not, you're not going to say nothing. Right? Yeah. Because that's, you know... Because honestly, look, look, let's be honest about it. If you get mad, Hector, you get in somebody's face, that fear is there, right? Even if little man over here gets mad at something, that fear is there, right? And that fear just gets heightened the bigger and the darker they come, right? Like, and that, 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 that's, that shouldn't be there. It, it, is. Should, I hear that. it should be assumed that that we're a threat because of because of this, right? Like, what for? But, but here's the thing. I could be dressed up to the nine, nice crew cut, clean shade, this and that, doing everything nice by the book. In fact, let me even bring it back. I did a job for the law offices of the city of New York. So I'm doing my legit job. Oh, shit, he's popo. Paid my taxes and all of that. I did my job at that place. We finished, me and my partner, we finished. My partner happens to look white. He's Dominican. But he just happens to look white. He had blue eyes, white skin, dirty blonde hair. Dominican, no no American accent at all. He, when he talks, you know he's Dominican. So we finished doing our job. I walk over to my car. I put my tool bag right down. I had three cops run up on me saying I had a gun on me. What? Yeah. I just finished doing a job for the city of New York, the law offices in the Bronx. And I put my tools down to go get my keys where I got to do the Macarena. You know, where is it over here? Where is it over here? I had three cops run up on me saying I had a gun. So I'm doing everything legit. I got my tools. I got my job. I'm yo. I'm clean. I pay my taxes. I don't got zero on my criminal record. I know because every time I cross a border, they check. You feel me? Okay. So even though I did everything right, I was still looked down upon. So that. Oh, if I get angry, they're going to be afraid of me. Guess what? They're afraid of me when I'm nice. They're afraid of me when I'm finished doing my job. Right. So why am I going to care? Why am I going to care if they're afraid of me because I'm angry or because I'm nice? If they're afraid regardless. So if you're going to be afraid, that's your problem, not mine. I'm not going to live my life trying to please the next person. I got to downplay myself. Because I don't want the other person to be afraid of me. Guess what? They're going to be afraid of me. It's all right. I made peace with the fact. Yeah, but do you know what? That's the whole interesting thing. We always have to be viewed as non-threatening. Wake up, Fubs! I'm, up, I'm, up. I'm looking at shit. <laughs> no. nah, we always hear that, man. It is non-threatening. The switching and all of that. But, bro, man, I'm getting tired, bro. I'm getting tired of this shit. You feel me? I, I really- know you know. But I'm saying I'm tired. Anybody listening, I'm tired of dealing with your bullshit friends. I'm watching some of y'all 
with some of y'all bullshit friend after bullshit friend, I'm judging you too. I don't need you in my circle. Yo, and all of this, what people think is drama coming to me, I got mad love. That, that, that joke that was in the, the, the chat room is getting taken care of by my peoples. You know what I mean? I got more people reaching out to me. Yo, Hector, I got your back. Because they right. know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like you said, check your, 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 your local government, this and that. I'm checking my local scene. I hear you. I you want the racists. I want the sexists. I want the transphobes. I want all them people to stay the fuck away from me. Anywhere yeah. I go, I want you to feel them. Preach. 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 Can I get an air horn? Can I get oh. an air horn, Serge? If you about your scene, get rid of the problem. Hell yeah. Hell you yeah. can't coexist with garbage. You only gonna get sick from me. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, for yeah, real. If, if you think you could coexist with garbage, leave that bag open. Open. Don't don't put no lid on it. Put that in your bedroom and leave it there for a couple weeks. And tell me how long you can coexist with garbage. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, 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 hold up. What's up? You gotta coexist with more garbage, though. That was the you know, greatest. More garbage sure. is the truth right now. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Let that... I can't even call this more garbage because it's like just straight gold to me, yo. Like, I've been listening to this stuff every night, y'all. be falling asleep to this, man. <laughs> it's like, y'all be speaking some sense, B. Yeah, that's you why know, you always see me in the chat room always saying something, man. You know what? Shit means a lot to me, bro. You know what? It actually, it actually does. It actually does to to me too because it, you know, it allows people to see a message coming from people whose feet are on the ground, like everyone else, right? You know, there's a lot of podcasts that you have for sure, right? I'm fans of podcasts too, but a lot of these people are. You know, celebrities, they've like already made their made their fucking thing as, you know, either actor, or fucking major, major league, major league player or something like that. Somebody that's already, you know, on some sort of a higher uh, on some sort of a higher stature of popularity. Right. And you see these same conversations happening with them, too. But when you other people whose feet are on the ground, like the vast majority of the people, right? We're in the yeah. peloton of the fucking game. We're like in that crowd of fucking bike riders where there's like a million of us, right? Mm. And a lot of us are all feeling the same way. That's why there's so many people that are here with us in the chat. Right? And my haters. And the haters, right? You know? Yeah, forget about you, Morgan. Equal. How, how my ta my name tastes in your mouth? Sorry. <laughs> I love it. Tastes I love like it. strawberries, doesn't it? Strawberries. Uh, <laughs> and I see she's <laughs> trying to do that thing too, where where she's like, "Oh, you guys are all so smart, and you got this, you know, jerk on your show." It's like when when they're like, "Eminem murdered you on your own shit." <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, cyberbullying, right? Like, look, look. It's the type of person that says, "Yo, you heard that new Nick Cannon?" <laughs> eh. Yeah, when 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 they told Nas that uh, oh his bodyguard God. had had a better verse on Uchiwali. With your bodyguards, Uchi Wally verse he better than have, yours. He might have better. He might have better beat selection, but that's about it. <laughs> I kind of like <laughs> Okay, DJ Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, right? Shout out to Vlad TV if you're watching this. I love a homie on. Vlad TV. <laughs> I love Vlad TV, right? Like, he, uh, he has some interviews and, like, people really open up on his, on, on his, uh, on his, on his show. You know? I actually do like it, you know? Got eyes. You know, people, he, he has eyes. People, everybody knows that people watch his shit, and so they want to go on there and tell their story. It's all yeah. simple. I mean, he's at... Everyone brings a he's handkerchief calm, like, interview. to their Vlad interview. Yeah. He's a super calm dude. Like, you know, he's just, he doesn't, 
just wants to fucking let people cry and shit. <laughs> Wait, who cried on his, on their interview? It's always like it's always that side of people. That's like it's always like the 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 heartfelt side of people's thoughts. Yeah. Searches oh, interview. Uh, hmm? Oh, there was that one dude. Like his brother got killed. Uh, Buntry. So yeah, I remember a couple of those things where the dudes who was running with Suge Knight basically said, "All of us that that started off, we ended off for nothing." Because when Shug went to jail, everything was under his name. So he pulled everything out. So it's like, imagine you put in that much work to back Shug Knight and Death Row, which is since like, what, 91, 92? Yeah. You feel me? And all the, the work that they had to put in. And when I mean work, for you people that don't know hip hop terminology, work tends to be uh, acts that are not exactly... Uh, you know, smiled upon by the law. Right. So now be over the table. So they did a lot of things. Like dude's brother even died. So imagine that. You got what you started off with when death row started. You Listen. got dead brothers, you got dead all this, you got all this beef and all of this other stuff. You ain't got no car. You ain't got no house. You ain't Isn't got no it- mansion. You ain't got no money. Isn't it that Suge ran over his mans? Like, isn't that like the footage that put him in prison? He actually ran over his mans. Like, <laughs> yeah, they were trying to say it was cataracts and this and that. But the thing with Suge is that he was facing like charges, like life charges. So working out that deal means he gets twenty eight. That means he can he can possibly leave. You feel me? When he's eighty. What is he Yeah, he'll probably come uh, out when he's eighty and be like, "I mean, there's I'm people who back. die in there. People owe me money. <laughs> there's people that, that die like you know, ninety years I'm old. I'm on the streets like, now. You know, me? Man, you know what? Seeing that footage was kind of strange, though. Well, mm. what him running over I mean, his man? Yeah, I mean, what he was strange is about it? He ran over Suge Knight. Exactly, like. He just, you know, no fucks given. Like it's that's like when that Dick Cheney right shot there. dude in the face. With Yo, he shot his homie in the <laughs> face. How do you... Wait, wait. Not only that, the guy that he shot in the face somehow, for apologized, some reason, right? apologized <laughs> to Dick Cheney. For, for, uh, that's a different level yeah, of evil. For all the distress that the publicity was I'm causing. sorry I put my face in front of your shotgun that you actually, you shot me in the face. So I remember the, that press conference. Half his face was like all purple welts and shit. Like going up his neck, like side of his face. Super and anybody who out. knows quail hunting is quails are little ass things that don't go any higher flying than your knee. So in order to pick it up from this position and then do this, you know, Dick Cheney, you know Dick Cheney said some fly shit like, don't do that shit again. Smash and hit some oh, shit in yeah. the face. Oh, like, how it, much it, of a G you got to be that you could shoot somebody in the face and then you make them apologize to you? <laughs> Yo. You want to talk about Not even the God could have done that shit. Not even God could have gotten away with how that. Many, <laughs> how many toes did he take off before this all happened? We don't know how many toes that, that Listen, gentleman has. I don't care. If you're the hardest person in the streets, right? You are the serious strong arm when you can shoot somebody in the face and make them apologize. Oh, you know, right? Dre used to have that you superpower. Dre had that yeah, superpower to shoot people no, in the face. He used to punch someone in the face and then they'd buy him a drink. <laughs> It was the crazy. How do we not have thing? a comic book about Yo, people? I'm telling you, all the time, <laughs> man. Punch Somebody someone. put that dude in Black Panther 3. That, the guy would come back and be like, yo, 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 respect, respect, respect. <laughs> what? I could see it too. Yo, we, we, we're talking about Mantis, right? right? No, yo. no, no. Different dude. Different dude. Oh, because I, I could see it, him doing uh, it. But it's a good one. Mantis <laughs> from Black Ops. 
Oh, Play some of the God. nastiest stuff. Him, Mikel, and Arrow MC when they all go back together. But I could see the bro, Dre, punching somebody in the face and somebody buying him a drink. Like, that dude's that smart. Respect, respect, respect. Like, I, I don't even mess with him, bro. Like, he, he could come out with some flash shit and be like, well, I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> I didn't even hear that one right. Huh? What? <laughs> Yo, I mean, honestly, man, like, look, when you, that, you know, that was the thing I was, I was kind of alluding to before with the whole cyberbullying thing, right? Like, when you come up in the days of when, before there were, like, cell phones or social media, mm. people would see you when they saw you. Yeah. Right? And now people say the most outlandish things when they know they can hide behind a keyboard. Oh, keyboard warriors, yeah. Yeah. You know, keyboard courage has become, like, one of the well, biggest what's... things in the world. And and it developed into a thing called cyberbullying, right? Like, sorry, if you're on a screen, you can't bully me. I mean... Maybe I'm too old to get it, but I come from the days where you used to actually get punched in your face right in your front door. Exactly, yeah. Is that you come see, from a I have a, time. I have a theory of this, though. Like, I have a theory about typing in general is bad news. Um, like, we, we get lost in, in inflection and people read it. They type it in a certain way. People read it in a certain way. You know, beef starts in between thoughts. Like, most good conversation... If you let a conversation go, unless you're really just trying to go for it and get scrappy, can be like just like lulled out. Like you don't, you can argue and come back down. Oh, okay, I see where you're coming from. You know, like, and you can't do that in, on, on Facebook whatsoever. There's no actual in any type. There's oh, just no. sheer beef. Uh, sheer you beef. could you could actually call Messenger. Messenger, I could call you up. Video of chat, course. audio chat. Not again. I'm, I'm we not can talk. Away from that. I'm, this I'm that. talking in general the, the medium of what most Facebook is, you know, most online discourse of, in feeds. Yes, of course, but that's right. a phone call. Then you're just okay. back into in a normal, you know. So, yes and no. Yes, you, it's good to have these conversations and know the inflection and all this other stuff. Um, it's good to, to try to speak certain things out. Right. So that's why I'm going to go with yes. And no, if I'm dealing with a racist person. Yeah, say that's it. not what I'm saying. I agree no, with No, no, no. That's, that's why I gave you the yes and no. Yeah, that's why yeah, I just 100%. completely knock your stuff off. What I'm saying is like in certain situations, everything you just said is a beautiful thing. I strive to be that much of a better person. Right. I'm not. I enjoy it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to be the one that's going to curse out your uncle. It's fine. <laughs> you don't got to like me either. But you should have done that first. <laughs> Check your friends before I do. <laughs> so if you want the nice talking, let's think it out, you speak to fucks. But that's not what I'm talking about. Though. You want that that's smoke, true. you come to that's, me. That's not That's not who I am either. You know. But the, the truth is, is that fucking thought gets lost in type. Because right. of that kind of mentality, right? There's a good, there's a good, uh, there's a good skit on that. Like on uh, what's those two guys? Uh, I'm not taking away racist is racist is racist. I'm not defending racism by any means. I'm surely talking about what what the the conversation on a digital platform in type has done to our, our like humanity of conversation. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it's taken away like, from it. Like, in no way if I said you was defending racism. I was like, I understand just, your, your, your pot. No, it's a positive thought. It's a beautiful thought. I will never downplay it. <laughs> lost, but lost in type, lost in type could mean like, look, you write your, you write your homie and you give him a bullshit excuse like, yo, I'm not going to make it. I got X, Y, Z to do. And you know, they just write you back. I'll see you tomorrow. Dot, dot, dot. Right? Now, if you spoke to them and they were like, all right, Hector, I'll see you tomorrow, right? Or they said, all right, Hector, see you tomorrow. You know the difference, right? Now, how you read that same 
I'll see you tomorrow. It's up to you. And I've had that mistake making with me, especially because I can be very barky. Right? I can be very barky. And so sometimes people will read something and think that I'm salty when I'm saying you're yelling. Right. You're like, right. you're like, oh, that... and I'm I yelling. You? Like, no. And like some people, like, what the fuck do you mean? And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> you know, so. All right. I, I hear you. you. Yeah. I hear you. And yes, sometimes you do not hear the tone in a person's text. But we in 2020. The same thing I'm texting to you on, I could call you on, I could video chat you on. We right. ain't sending a telegraph. We ain't <laughs> sending a letter by the Pony Express. And then we see it written dot, 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 where I got to wait for like another half a year until I get an answer. <laughs> but if you got a question, just call them up. What do you mean? Yo, homie, I ain't know what you meant by that. That's it. So but that actually doesn't happen. You could have that problem, but what you choose to do after that problem, instead of getting confused, you can unconfuse yourself by calling. Right. But that shit, you're right, but that shit doesn't happen. Well, then that's on you. I can't tell you what you can no, and cannot no, I'm do, just, bro. I'm saying overall. People well, are overall, like, you know what? I say the same thing overall to all, all the overall people. If you ain't picking up that phone and you confused, you allowing yourself that to happen. You have the means to change that. If you don't want to use those tools to change that, then don't get mad at anybody else. Because right. they don't know that you misinterpreted. it. You could call them up seriously. Yo, what you mean, bro? Yo, what? saying some nice thing, it just sounded nasty. I don't know. My bad. And that's is it. it. Is there, is, can someone fill me in? Is there, is there drama going on in the chat room or what's, go, what's going on in the chat room? Oh, they, they're bringing it back to the Frankie Bones, Stacey E's, had the hard crack. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Morgan still trying to play on the, the complaint that I actually said on this show that somebody had. Uh, try to say that I was drugging women because I'm that confident. It's actually on my Facebook that I don't do shit like that. Right. Uh, you know, it's like now trying to put, well, let's talk. Well, then go say something. Name a name. Go. You know about it, then go ahead. Name names. No, <laughs> no names. You ain't got nothing but my, my fucking uh, name in your voice, in, in your mouth. That's it. That's a fan. Morgan, you a fan of mine. You just an angry, confused one. You don't know. <laughs> you just another number. When it says the, the right next to the live, it don't know if you angry or you happy to see me. It just sees you as another number. So thank you. So thank you. You giving me props without even knowing it. I'm not even watching, but my friends are tearing you apart. This guy Why? Is, because you're just an guy. angry fan. Embrace angry the one. Fan. Stop being a racist piece of crap. Stop uh, being coddling for all of this racist piece of crap. If you want to defend your friend, check your friend. Tell him to just apologize. Say, I am not black culture. Right. Just walk away from it. The problem is, he made himself worse. I ain't do that. I'm not that famous. Is the thing is he has so many problems that everybody felt comfortable. So people I never met, I never heard of, also got problems with him. It's not just me. So even if I was to hug the guy tomorrow, I'm not even worried about all the backlash and all the people calling me a, a hypocrite. Let's, let's forget all of that. I hugged the dude. Yo, you my bestest friend. We're BFFs. Guess what? You still got beef with all these other people. That's not just me. So putting it on me, saying that I'm the personification, you can do that all you want. It's not going to change the fact that being a shitty person catches up. It definitely being a solid does. person always means you solid. That's why people defended me, because I'm a solid person. People know my side, how I've been for years. I've been consistent. And if you're a consistent jerk, people are going to think of you a consistent jerk. You now, know, when you consistent, solid dude, People don't question that. We go. We go. Organize the the you know unlicensed boxing match. Like I'm all about trying to make money off of everything. Yeah, so, I already had know, somebody do that. 
Hey, listen, I'm not giving him this dude my name for that shine. You feel me? Come on, pay per view, man. We could give you a nice little deal. You know? So far, I don't do fuck. <laughs> you know, I, ain't giving, I ain't giving no has been no shine. There's a reason why he's blocked. That's it. I'm done with you. When I'm done with you, I don't want to hear your fucking mouth anymore. <laughs> so even though you're like still naming me on your post, I'm laughing about it. Because I don't even have to name your name and you're still thinking about me. The more you talk about me, the more famous I become. I'm going to get more numbers on my DJ page. I'll get more people hitting me up. It's, it's cool. Happens, it's beautiful. You make me happens, famous. What happens huh? when you say Mama Wana three times in a row in the mirror? Nothing. You candy just wish I shit. played a liquid set. <laughs> it's Candyman shit, bro. I heard they're making a new Candyman. I heard the, the, the dude who played Candyman is going to come back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Dude looks like Tricky. It's real. He has, money does look like Tricky. Tricky's mm -hmm. another one of those music assholes. Or at least he was the time that I met him. Well, right. this this is what I this is what I hope, and like people stop, like coddling all of this bullshit, whether in the music scene, whether in real life, um, just just to stop coddling, stop making excuses for people. I have this I have this piece of advice I, I like to tell a lot of people is, never make an excuse for a person who won't make one for themselves. You right. feel me? Stop defending this shit. I'm not speaking to nobody who's 10 years old. Right. Nobody I speak to is like 10, 15 years old. You know what I mean? I speak yeah. to grown folk. I expect to speak to grown folk. And I speak to you like a grown man. And if you dumb in the head, then I'm going to let you know. And then I'm going to get rid of you. Because I can't have that in my circle that long. Feel me? You, you start poisoning my mindset. All these people is like, oh, you know, you put them on your block list and, and that means you're on your mind. I don't even remember half the people on my block list. I don't even realize that some of these people still exist. You feel What's me? I don't think about it. Yo, I keep, I keep moving on. I, I want to move forward. I, I, I'm not going to be stuck, like, you know, being stuck in the 90s, expecting... Uh, if anything, Everybody to kiss my ass for something that happened 30 years ago. To kids who are 21. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. If anything, it's about uh, creating a positive environment uh, for your immediate microcosm, the people that are right around you, right? If these are people that you feel don't, don't you know, don't really share your same mind state, you know, or, you know, that, that, that universal thought then, you know, it's probably better to leave those people out of your life. And, you know, we, we live on a big ass planet, right? Yeah. You know, even in, a, even in a, a city like New York, you could live your everyday life with the, the positive people that are going to really do the right thing. And the people that show their true colors, right? They, you know, they get, they get pulled out from under your skin, like a splinter, you know? And plucked away, right? Like, yo, bounce, bounce. You can't be around me. That's real easy to do, right? It's about like, you know, when you do call those people out, it's like you hope that their their people who are closer to them are able to check them, are able to grab them by the shoulder and say, "Hey, man, what are you what are you talking about?" You know, and that's all we're asking on a larger scale. Right. Outside of the microcosm, this also like, you know, can be extrapolated to everything outside of that. Right. If somebody took a second to grab their person by the shoulder and say, yo, man, now, nah, man, you chill know, out. you know, hold up, chill out. They're not so bad. Right. Let me let me tell you something. Right. If you ain't going to talk to him, talk to me. Right. Maybe that maybe that helps. Maybe that's one of those things that does help, right? You know, we could change the the, the negative part of it, right? Because yeah, for sure, we could easily punch punch dudes in their face all the time for not agreeing with you, right? In one way or another, whether it be verbally or physically, 
right? But the mm-hmm. best thing would be to to have somebody else that they can they can hear, somebody they really want to hear, try to convince them that that's not the right thing to do, or at least to fucking fall back for the, for now. Well, if you know? they had done that, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. I I feel you. A lot of people, we wouldn't be we wouldn't be where we're at right now. On a I larger was, scale, on a larger scale, right? And this is where this mm. whole divide comes in that we were all talking about, right? It's it's visibly there, but nobody wants to actually recognize it's there. And then calling out that it's there makes you either angry or on one side or the other side of this this whole argument it's and debate of those differences. Yo, people gonna people have every right to be wrong. Let them. I don't care. I really don't. Why? I do everything by the book. I'm still going to get drama. I don't. I'm still going to get drama. So am I going to really break my back to, like, make somebody else happy? Like, at my own expense? Nah. No. But you will make the effort to check the person at first, which is what, you know, which is also... I've given a lot of people a lot of chances. That's what a lot of people don't recognize. If you go back, all those posts that I was referring to tonight are still on my page. There's going to be a whole bunch of DJ streams in between, but everything I said is still there. Everything I said then, I still mean now. I don't even remember what I wrote. I mean it. I hear you. And once again, the only reason why this thing blew up wasn't because Mama Juana said that. It was because it was true all over. So, if you really respect your friend, check your friend. Teach your friend before I do. (laughs) Before you have to come with the mask. Before El Gigante comes for you. So, I believe we're at a total of around three and a half hours right now. <laughs> Jesus. Shit. My bad. Somebody let the Dominican talk. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there uh, one last topic we want to wanna toss around while these guys are wearing I, their wrestling masks? And, uh, I want to put the wrestling about- mask on. I want to speak about the little homie, the little homie saga that I got on my YouTube. It's uh, it's wholesome content. It's me trying to find a possum that uh, one night I was uh, playing some liquid drum and bass and the thing just ran inside my basement. And uh, I guess now this is like one of my weird side missions in life. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that the little homie is good where he finds his mom's. I think he did. I got to go through like my security uh, images. But um, a baby I'm, still, I'm still uh, I'm trying to figure out how uh, episode it's seven is going to happen. That's amazing. They're What's scared the of fucking looking did, things. Did you give the possum a name? Huh? Shout out, out the little Fubs homie. With, shout out to Fubs with the Slee Stack mask. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I call the possum. Stack? Oh, oh. <laughs> that looked like a slee stack or something. Uh-huh. I got a few. It's, it's right. for some reason people go to Mexico and they feel I need one. I've never been to Mexico. I've never bought one. People just bring this back for me. I have like four of them. I got this from my man. Shout out to my man Milky, man. I got this from Milky. He came to a Super Bowl party at my homegirl Eileen's house, right? Wearing. Wearing a, a, a New York Giants poncho and this El Gigante mask, and I was like, I was like, you know what? I was like, yo, I need that mask. <laughs> and they wonder, what the hell is that? What mask? I think I think I'm I got you. an El Santo mask upstairs. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got a few of them. Just you know, shop feel feel a little different. Wake up in the morning, you know, get a little coffee in you. <laughs> I'm sure your cat enjoys enjoys seeing that. Like, this is what it is. 
Oh, my man looks like he, he, he used to wrestle for Kaiju Big Battle. <laughs> oh, my God. Those dudes were amazing. I remember. <laughs> Actually, you, look, you know, you look like one of these dudes, like, from, like the bad guy on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? he, he's like the, 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 the super robot that Rita makes. Mm-hmm. Fighting Kaji. against a bunch of boxes, a.k.a. the Power Ranger robot. <laughs> Yo, was the black kid was the black kid on Power Rangers the Black Ranger actually? The first the first season, yeah. You had the Asian girl who was the Yellow Ranger, the white girl, the Pink Ranger, the black guy, the Black Ranger, and then you had the Blue Ranger and the red one. They were both white, and then there was Tommy, the Green Ranger. Then he became the White Ranger, but you know everybody's screaming, "Yeah, it's the White Power Ranger!" You really want to say that whole thing out loud? <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Like, uh... <laughs> Y'all really think about this, bro? Wait, are they going to ban... Are they going to ban the Power Rangers, though? Like, I mean... I hear they're trying to get rid of Chase, the dog from Paw Patrol. <laughs> Serge, you got kid, you got, a, you got a young kid. You know what Paw Patrol is. All right. So, we don't do that. You don't do the no, we don't, don't, we don't, no, we're watching. Oh, you don't, we know cops. We're watching Clone hey, Wars. You got snitch on the elf? You got that snitch on the shelf? I mean, the elf on the shelf? The nah, elf on the shelf. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, my camera's out there. And then there's you the bench on the bench. Oh, yeah. What's you that? watching Clone Wars? Clone oh, Wars. Shit, what was that? What is that? I don't know. What is what? Oh, you were flipping your camera. I know. Look, yeah, yeah. Look. What, this? Yeah. My setup, my beads, my from Jamalski. Ah. Oh, shit. Shout out my man Jamalski. I think he's in France. Hey, what? Have you on the net crew, baby? All right. Like, I've always been supporting you know I me. Mean? And the reason I go so hard is because these people supported me in my darkest times. So how can I not do that for them? I hear you. I hear you. Shout out to all those people that are supporting us tonight over mm-hmm. here for Garbage Podcast. Yeah, man. Lots of lots of fucking stuff going on, man. If you can, the main message that you can draw from this entire conversation is fuck racism and check your people. Right. Oh, speaking of racist, we got that little Morgan trying to uh, say I got to clean up see, at Home Depot. Okay, there we go. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you no know what? It, it had to come to that because <clears throat> we weren't biting when it came to the whole, like, he's a bad person. So they were starting to get mad. They, they, they were yeah. being ignored, yeah. so they had to throw... Some race. I, I mean, they might as well have like yelled the N word in there, you know. It's yeah. Like, it, so Listen. so they lost whatever argument they had. It's like when you have an argument. As soon as you go into racism, I already know I as won. As soon as yeah, you. It's like it's I'll like yelling you. when you're arguing with your girlfriend. You're like, oh, I just lost. Some of us call that no leg to stand on. Mm-hmm. You know. So that's so that's nice. Okay. You need someone to, to wipe up in aisle three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I'm sure that's not a racist thing. No, of course not. It it that's means not. that uh, all lives have a right to um, have a job mopping oh, things up. Sure. Speaking Fucking about racism. all lives, all you people who like that all lives matter mantra, there has been one all lives matter protest. It was held by a bunch of racist people that got uh, fired from their jobs, including a cop and a FedEx guy. Oh, that oh, one. Yeah, we showed that. Anti-Black Matters protest. Mm-hmm. So right. the it's, only people, the only right. All Lives Matter protest, because Black Lives Matter have protested white kids getting shot by the police. But the only time All Lives Matter protest is against Black Lives Matter. So literally... All Lives Matter is against Black Lives Matter. There is no other thing. Go go look it up. Use your Googles. Make yourself smarter. 
Put your Google goggles on. Put Ooh, your, those are gone. Put your Google goggles on and get your get your shit right. Get your learn on. It's twenty twenty. Yeah, for sure, man. Like you know what? How much how much beer do I have left? Oh Jesus! This part of the more garbage podcast. Steagle and me. Often brought to you by Steagle. I'm probably gonna fall up the stairs later on. Yes. Uh, I, I, hope you, I hope you sleep in that mask for all that's funny in my life. I think, you know, we got about like, you know, we got about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes left to this fuse and about 10 minutes know. left. We, this we might finish that ah! off the air. All right. Well, <laughs> well then, it's almost blunt 30. I got to yeah, go. There you go. <laughs> Where, that, that, you know what? It's about that time, y'all. You know, we got a little ways to go. So, uh, anything <laughs> else we want to cover? Let's cover right. something on the positive side, right? I'm sure yeah. you got some mixes coming up. You got some Yeah, why don't you do up. some promo? Because uh, I'm sure Morgan wants out. to know where she can catch you next. Oh, yes. Your oh, fan. You catch me outside if she wants. What's yeah. up? How about that? Um, catch me outside. Uh, yeah. Check me out. I'm on everything at Hector Mamawana. I'm on Twitter, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud, MixCloud. Um, I got a group called DJ Streams for everybody who wants to do their DJ stream and, you know, share it with people. I'm already working on my, my second profile. Um, so you haters can add that to Hector Castillo. Um, I need those numbers. You can say whatever the hell you want, but as long as your number goes up right next to the live, you just another fan. Uh, I want to shout out to everybody on uh, More Garbage Podcast. This has been a, like a real positive thing, um, even when they let me on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, like for real, like y'all, y'all, y'all gentlemen have uh, some real deep and serious conversations. Y'all have a lot of people who I, I love to hear. Sometimes I've I've literally just like laid in bed and just listened to y'all. You know what I mean, JoJo. You definitely it. got that common voice. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, with the sign off for everything, that's 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 smooth as fuck. I I want to get there one day. Um, to everybody around me who supported me, I love you. I'm gonna have your back no matter what. You could always hit me up, tell me to block your racist friend. I'm not even gonna ask you why if you're a homie of mine. Be like that. And if they all hold me in mind, I'm going to check them first, and then I'm going to block their ass. Um, shout out to the, the new generation. Shout out to the old school that are actually about the music, that are about the culture, and letting people like me speak their minds when we need to speak our minds. So all my allies that never know what I'm going through, but they're giving me a place where I could speak. Y'all who back me up, I love y'all. Thank you. That shit means a lot to me. I got a lot of heat coming at me, and I feel like y'all, y'all my strength. Y'all letting me know that what I'm doing is right. Maybe not as pleasant, but I'm going to do it the way I do. You know what I mean? I'm from New York City, LES. I'm here by my people. You feel me? I ain't afraid of uh, all of these people talking. Uh, I ain't afraid of nobody listening to this. If if you this dude's friends, you know what I mean? If you have Frankie uh, Bones' friend, if you have the Hart's friend, you Stacey East's friend, or that little group that, that y'all made, the Hector's, the He-Man Hater Club, check your friends. This whole Black Lives Matter, this shit is serious for us. Yeah. People are literally fighting for their lives. Literally. That's the truth. Just because you don't understand my experience doesn't mean it doesn't happen. And not for nothing, I'm privileged. But if I'm the lightest one in the room, I might get that white privilege. And I've seen that shit happen before. You feel me? So I even recognize my own privilege. You know True. what I mean? It's it it, it happens. Truth. You feel me? So, like, check your friends. Explain Look, how serious this is to people. What is, this is not something to joke about. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, no, um, no, it's okay. No, no, no. You, you know, you're right. And one of one of the things that, uh, you know, I kind of, I second everything that you, that you that you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I think that people within their circle need to check them, uh, check themselves, uh, check other people, try to be a better person in your everyday life, right? Live that, live that person. And, and be that person that you want to see other people be. You can't expect everybody to be the same, but try to try to be that person, right? Like anybody that that knows me in real life knows that my everyday involves everybody else. And if they're involved in the same shit I'm in, I'm there to support them, right? Mm-hmm. I do it in my every single day. Right. And that's the that's the the one thing that, uh, you know, that I want to tell people to be. Look, I'm not morally I'm not morally on a higher ground than anybody else. I'm asking everybody to just sort of sort of be that way and be on their same plane. And with that being said, let me plug my shit, too. Don't forget to check me out on Friday. Man Cave Mix Sessions. DJ Jojo right here in the Man Cave. If I've got my DJ gear here. Because I, you know, was out on a gig. But uh, be sure to check that out. Check out the Digital Confusion Mix Show here in Austria. Uh, FM4.ORF.AT slash player slash live if you're anywhere in the world. And you can check out any kind of DJs, all sorts of DJs. Hip-hop, house, drum and bass, techno, Goa, you name it. If you're a talent out there. I'm the guy that you're going to play for and you got a platform out here. So you know where to get at me. Facebook.com slash DK Mix Show. Facebook.com slash DKM Jojo. All that other good stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sorry, that's my bad. I ran uh, some other audio over you at the end there. Um, that was awesome. Well, we're gonna we're gonna dub over we'll you. We'll see if uh, that person's a real person next time because we just we'll just throw them a block from the page and uh, see block, if they block, block. reincarnate. But uh, you know, thanks for oh, uh, thanks for pushing up the numbers and uh, you know, thanks for um, you know being Hector's number one fan and. Uh, I love you, yeah. baby. Love, we love we actually you. have a, a special coming up that uh, Morgan m- might be interested in. Uh, we're going to interview someone this week that uh, deals with, um, you know, racial healing with anti-racist uh, education. And wait, wait. I got a I got a phone call. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I got a phone call. Morgan is now calling. Are you kidding me? Hello? Hey. Yeah, what's up, Morgan? <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Are you enjoying the show? <laughs> yeah? All right. Well, have a great night. Bye, Morgan. Shots! Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Yo. Uh, that was the best. I'll it's show it's- you how you really troll. Yeah. <laughs> I troll for good. I don't troll for evil. So you can catch Yo. us Friday night here on More Garbage on Facebook. And uh, that's also on Digital Confusion TV on Twitch. Yes. And I'm sure you've been seeing everyone's Instagram handle scrolling on the bottom of the page so that we don't have to list all that shit too. Absolutely. Big Do shout some out research. <laughs> Big shout out to everybody that's joined us in the chat. Shout outs to Chris. Shout outs to our man, No Request. Shout out Vinyl Fatigue. Shout outs to everybody that's out there. My brother Raul from the Digital Confusion crew. Big shout outs to you. Shout out to Kurt Books. Shout out to Trackologist. Steve B, uh, one of our co hosts up here on More Garbage. And everybody else that was out there, my sister Eileen, I love you. Um, yeah, it was time for us to wrap it up. That's it. That's all for the More Garbage Podcast. We'll see you on and Friday. You eat, wait, what? wait, what? wait. I'm not done oh, yet, oh, sir. Oh. <laughs> and if you want to eat something 
and uh, you're trying to figure out what to add to your recipe, there might be something that you want to Father's add. Day. Get your, get your dad some shit for Father's Day. Delicious. Just that beer. More garbage. That's right. Get the discount, but you don't oh, get the kazoo. That's not a kazoo. No kazoo. I don't know. It's some weird... I don't know what the fuck it is. It's a it's a it's a whistle. We're just gonna go with whistle. But we'll go whistle. You know, since we don't have any closing music, we'll get a whistle and an air horn. Can I get a whistle and an air horn? Okay, we got a whistle and an air horn. Uh, that's it. That's all for the More Garbage Podcast. Thank you to our special guest, Hector Mama Wana. The Thank yeah, thanks for joining us. Great specialist wearing the belt <laughs> champion, you know, speaking his mind, speaking his peace. And I really do appreciate you for, for doing that, right? There's very few people that really do that and speak their mind, and I really appreciate that. On behalf of Fubs and Vandal and myself, DJ Jojo, thanks for listening to the More Garbage podcast. And remember, take out that garbage. And, uh, you know, even if it's your friend, yeah, and get rid of the trash. We out of here, pig.